inside for a long time. Majority of people online are male. I think your demographics are very skewed. You ever been on Pinterest? You know how many girlies go crazy for Pinterest? Including me. That's where my inspiration photos coming from. Majority of people on Twitch? Mm. Yeah, probably. Here. Yeah. My viewer demographic is mostly male, which is kind of weird because I do like, I do my makeup every morning. But we do have one standout female viewer. Her name is Ruby. She's at work right now. And we bond on a different level. She's like, she's the star of my chat. Never understood Pinterest. Maybe it wasn't made for you. Pinterest is made for people who are crafty. And let me say, some girls love, love, love to craft. It's like, like me and my roommates, we always want to do a wine and craft night. And let me say, if you ever, I'm assuming people in here are single, if you ever get a girlfriend, do some crafts together and she'll probably go crazy. I have a 70 year old dude that I play old school RuneScape with. Those are outliers. There are always outliers. I mean, like, there always is. Instagram, urgent, urgent, urgent. There are other things that are more important than you. I'm sorry to say this, but there are some other things that I'm doing right now. Hi, Jay. My day is going pretty well. Of course, I had my morning Duolingo, and yesterday I was feeling under the weather. It was sad, not fun. Didn't like it. And I was so tired, so I just, I just kind of lounged all day. But today I'm kind of feeling a spark back. And I think, I think it's my eyeliner that's making my eyes look kind of weird. To be honest, weird to me. I don't know if anybody else would even notice. But... Or be knowledgeable on makeup enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just extend it. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe this is what I'm missing. Oh. Would your crafting be interesting how to make chain mail, bracelets, or earrings? Probably not chain mail. But let me say two days till your favorite time of the year? Is that till spring? Like officially? But let me say, I can bead like crazy. I have some beading goods actually around my desk. But I guess I should probably show you my inspiration now. Before we get too ahead of ourselves. Oh, NFL draft. Oh. Tell you what I do know about. I know about the WNBA draft. Chino can be colorful and pretty. Maybe. Maybe. But I'll just do like a quick little. No, this girl has fake eyelashes on. And is also a different race than me. But this was the inspiration photo. But we have 
different faces, so it's not going to be exactly the same. But I bet if I put on fake eyelashes, it'd be, like, pretty close. But I like to beat things. Like, I have a bunch in front of me. Good close, but your reference was a child? That's a woman. She's just Asian. Bro right now saying right Bro saying right now Caitlin Clark is better than LeBron James. I just I just don't care. What I do care about is the girlies. I will say your reference had very heavy makeup. I mean, probably about the same that I have on right now. She's just wearing fake eyelashes. A woman who is made to look childish? I would not say that. I wouldn't say that. She's just alien with, like, a hairdo. But anyways... Anyways, let's move on. This is what things I make. That's what we got. But I make myself like earrings all the time. Like this. Or sometimes a little bracelet. Or sometimes they're real funky and I do cool things like this. But honestly, the best part about it is like feeling the beads between your hand. And like, it's cool to have big ones like this one. Because you have to like just feel the cool beads and then you get to like rub your fingers on them. And then it's like nice. Chainmail is just weaving about with metal. Okay. All right. I'll give it to you. They're similar. I'll give it to you. But these are like... Fun. Think really pop. Followed for the hair. Interesting. You use it as a fidget... Honestly, yeah. I don't like looking at my hair. It's like a day old, unwashed hair. <laughs> but you can also make like little things like these. And then this is my anklet. And it's like pretty things. But I'm just a sucker for like cool jewelry. Like, you're going to see these and you're gonna, you're not going to be able to, if you want to spend 100 hours, you can make armor in 30 minutes. You can make earrings if you're new or bracelet if you know weaves. Maybe. I'm going to say maybe. Maybe I will. Jewelry. These ones are probably my coolest. I'll just show one. Like, you just can't deny that it's, like, pretty sick. You just can't deny it. Now I need to get... I'm kind of, like, done with my makeup. No. I was going to do fake eyelashes, but... Ugh. I always take them off as soon as stream, stream ends. So I figured, like... What if I just didn't? What if I just didn't? Those wing things are pretty cool. How do they attach? It's just like little metal. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's just like metal attached. But I don't have anything here, but I've worked with like, oh, here. Like I add clasps and like stuff to earrings. See a bead and a wire. Well, 
That's how it goes. I did not make the butterfly ones, but I've made everything else. So. There's that. But I did make the butterfly ones. That's all. Lobster claps? You prefer toggles. Let me look that up. Oh. Yeah, no. I wouldn't feel secure with my jewelry with that. Like, a clasp makes me feel way more secure. I think you're just wrong. Like, lobster clasp break? So I would just fix it. But I'm pretty confident in how I did it. Like. Like I put it through the bead. Toggles never break. Yeah, but if a toggle, like that's also never going to stay on. 56 hours, 56 minutes and 27 seconds till the NFL draft. What? Ooh, sports. Never had an issue with toggles? Well, I have, as a person who wears jewelry all the time. I much prefer a clasp. I just feel more secure. Like, I just, I do not feel secure with a toggle. And I've definitely had toggles break. He's done a lot of things. He gets really crafty. Gets crafty in the kitchen and in the uh, jewelry making room. Clash are so weak. I just, I just simply disagree. I just wouldn't. I personally wouldn't want my jewelry to have it. Let me look up jewelry. Toggles jewelry. So I'm like, I need to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I just don't feel as secure with it. Because it'll slip off all the time. At least it has for me. Maybe I'm just like crazy. But to be honest, the reason I have class is because I got... I bought a kit full of them. They'll never slip off their custom fit. Wow. Here, let's all take a little look at toggles. Here we are, everyone. This would be, where's a good example? Like this. A brief history of toggle bracelets. I just... It's not my preference. I'll say it. What do we have here? Whoa. That looks... Funny. But then this is toggled. The more you know. Oh, I'm losing everything. Bar in a loop. Well, let me say, I'm just an amateur jewelry maker. But I just simply prefer a clasp. 
Preference is fine. You should have said so. You should have assumed so. Mic drop. But I don't actually drop my mic. I have it right here. Welcome to our jewelry making part of the broadcast. Plus, a lot of times I like I like to make earrings more than like a bracelet. So I'm not really I'm not really toggling a earring. Like I got stuff like this. Oops, once again. Made enough to pay. Oh my god. I made enough to pay for my first two years at UT selling jewelry. And I like to make I like earrings more. Sorry, I'll chop it. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. But I like making things like these. That's just what I like. Did I wonder my plans today? I love selling earrings. Took no time that I could literally slap any bullshit on a hook and sell it. That's true. Some some girlies love like just funky earrings and some people I don't know. Oh my god. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um Rainbow Loom. That's what they're called. Rainbow Loom bracelets. I actually never got into that, but I would make like friendship bracelets. I like got like re back into it recently. It's very relaxing. But and then I switched to like beading. And then now I'm in the process of making like a small like bracelet for my friends. So I mean titanium stretchy bracelets for guys. I don't know if I can picture what that's like. Like, I can't picture it. I don't know if that's a me problem. Half indestructible rings, half rubber rings. Oh, okay. So you get, like, titanium, but then it also stretches. How fun is that? Sorry, everyone. I'm cleaning up all my stuff. This is everything that I used today. Just kidding, that's way more. Oh, I have one set of earrings that I really like, actually. Oops. Have to go. Love talking to you. Bye! $40 an inch. 95 an inch for gold. Wow. That sounds very lucrative. I know earrings like this can go for like, like these, if I made them into earrings. Ugh. Could probably go for like over a hundred. But that's just cause like, that's just cause they're like hard to make. And they like take like a lot of, these were like three inch wide bracelets. I had to, I had to think about it. Bracelets. I want to say something so stupid right now, but no. I'm gonna... Okay, well now you have to share because now we get the context that like you were smart enough to think to not say it, but now we have to know. Usually whenever I think of something stupid, I always say, I was going to say this, but I thought, hmm. No, you shouldn't. But then I'll say it. Because once you give the context of like, I am smart enough then, smarter than to say this, but this is what I thought. Yeah. Now everybody's looking at you and everybody's waiting and everybody's begging for you to say it. So come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, too bad. As if. As if. As if. All right, everybody. I actually... I will be right back. I'm simply... 
Okay, we're done, right, Club? Done? Like the broadcast? We keep this thing rolling. We keep this thing rolling. But I have to go grab with Jay's done thing. I'm over it now. Twitch is shit list. I don't think so. I think that's just Twitch. It's just like that. Twitch is shit list. Wait, in which way? Because I might be interpreting it wrong. If it's with the weirdos, I think that's simply how <laughs> Twitch culture is, unfortunately. I just don't have mods to help me. I feel like feet are like actually pretty inoffensive to be honest I feel like it's like one of the harmless kinks to be honest like I'm I'm not gonna kink shame especially especially on um wait what was i gonna say i totally lost my train of thought i'm losing it i'm losing it everyone my brain's being rotted <laughs> eh, i joined streams filtered by english and viewers not through twitch but through a third party app oh um, that might be it that might be it Might be the case. But who knows? I'm actually pretty close to being a Twitch partner. Not partner. Partner? Maybe. Probably. Probably. I probably am on the shit list. Which sucks. Yeah, affiliate. I'm pretty close. I'm getting there. If you didn't know, Twitch has like it kind of gamifies itself in a way. Like, you have to get an average of so many viewers, but then you also have to have so many followers. So, I'm pretty close to reaching an average of three viewers. Like, I'm really close. And then, just need 50 followers. Just need to get to 50. So, I'll try to How kind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you can use a staff bathroom. Staff bathrooms, depending on where you work, can vary immensely. I used to work at an amusement park, and that's true, actually. To have 1K followers just to stream is kind of wild. And also, whenever I go on, like, I'll accidentally go on TikTok live and it's like the weirdest it's the weirdest things that I'm seeing on there door doesn't shop properly <laughs> I had that in my old jobs bathroom I used to work at an amusement park and I it was like a shack that I worked in and the bathroom was probably um uh, it was it was dark it was dingy it was wet weirdly no. but i've streamed on tiktok didn't like it have a whole seven followers i think on stream labs there's an option to also stream to tiktok but i also have like i have like my friends on there so i don't know but if you have to thousand followers I'm not I'm not very close I'm not very close to getting there but I mean I'll be honest I've had pretty good luck with like streaming about like once a day never attribute to malice what is explained by laziness 
smallest room ever. Door doesn't shut. Opens the rest of the door. Now full story. Good luck, Rippy. Good luck. But I've had, I've had pretty good luck with my streaming every day. Usually during like the weekdays, I'll get like all it takes is to be consistent and you're gonna make it big. Thanks, Jay. But I mostly do it just because it's now part of my routine. Like I'm already used to this. Getting into chatting. Start chatting every day. My last quote is deeper than you realize. Life lesson and us. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Love that. I love to drop truths in chat. <laughs> Um, oh, my brain's breaking a little bit. I'll be honest. Don't say sorry. It's like, um, it's like a little gem in the chat. It's nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's special. But, I mean, I'm... I mean, I look at, I like, Twitch has a lot of, five, should do a thing, five minutes of stream, drop quotes. I would like that, actually. Um, My roommate has an app that uh, gives you a quote of the day, and then randomly stop everything and be like, guys, quote of the day. And sometimes it's like an Adam Sandler quote. Uh, shoot you keep you keep throwing me i'm either like way too easy to throw off my train of thought or you guys are just really good at it i couldn't even tell you what we're just talking about oh yeah Ooh, twitch has they have a bunch of analytics like and I am just a slut for some good charts and numbers. Coffee. Did you make it? I've been here the whole time. I've got enough to go pee. And that's about it. I've been here for the past two hours. Understood. Serious. I did not. I did not step away for a full 10 minutes. I had a lot of pee. I was probably peeing for like, it might not sound like a lot, but probably like a minute straight of a consistent stream. And if you're going to, if you're going to talk about how long I stepped away for, I'm going to talk about what happened while I was gone. But... Twitch has a lot of analytics, and I love, love, love charts. Minute, yeah. I drank, like, a lot. Well, you know what? You're going to have to look in to the VOD. Maybe I took a sip of my coffee, sip of my water. Before I press the transition button, but let's be real. But, anyways, I love the numbers and the charts, and I see it. And, I mean, average viewers this week is higher than average viewers last week, so we. We're on the way up, everyone. We're going up. You better watch out.
<laughs> we're done. We're over it. We're not going to talk about me peeing anymore. Okay? Oh, we've had enough. I'm cutting it off. <laughs> we're over. We're done with this. I'm taking control of my chat. Now, I might... Hmm. What do we want to talk about next, guys? Do you guys want to ask me anything? Do you guys want to know anything about... the new top streamer? Welcome back, Groovy! How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. We're feeling good out here. What do you want to know? I'll tell you. Probably. Just in case it's... We give you a question and you give us questions. Um, we can try. We can try that. I mean... Ask away. I'm, I'm filling up. I'm streaming long today in like my world of it like this is probably the longest i've actively streamed how many 90 degree turns does your small intestines have okay that's not fun you want to know that i don't know I'm not the person to ask. Like mine specifically, or all? Because I'm gonna be built different. I'm gonna be built different. So, let's get real about that. We gotta take turns in chat asking questions. You can just give me them. I'll, I'll look back and I'll answer them. Well, good first question, I guess. Uh, I would disagree. Terrible first question. Step up your games. Or else. Or else. You know, guys don't want to know, like, my middle name, or, like, how old I am, or, like, what? Are the eyes the same prescription or different? They're different, actually. One is 0.5 worse than the other. And I think it's... I think it's my right one is worse than my left. By 0.5. But it's... it's They're both edging on negative 6. I know that. Which is pretty bad. It's really bad, actually. <laughs> but maybe someday I'll get LASIK. But I've been told that Ever had a crazy or weird first date? Absolutely. Before we get on to that, I have been told that, like, glasses are, like, they're, like, my key. It's, like, my thing. Is that I wear glasses. So if I get LASIK, then it'll be gone. Wow. Twinsies in the chat. Crazy. What's the meaning of life? Um... Get crazy, get wild, have fun. What's... What more can you do? What more can you do? But... Crazy or weird first date? I've had a couple. Um... I think the worst one, though, that I think was, like, the weirdest was I walked into this guy's car, and then he was like, oh, I'm actually moving to Costa Rica in, like, two months. And I was like, oh, okay. Not only that, he was also ginger. And his car smelled like pee. Like, really bad. Like, like that's already tarnished the thought of any first dates ever. It's just the immense smell of pee. It's like he had bottles and buckets of pee in the back. That's how bad it was. And then he's like, oh... Mind if we take a stop? We just went out for ice cream, too, and I was ready to go. And he's like... And then all of a sudden, he, like, drives somewhere else. I'm like, <laughs> where are you going? 
He's like, I'm just taking a stop at the vape store. I'm like, okay, take me home now, please. Just take me home. We don't need to make any more stops. I don't need to be in this car any longer. Did I ever read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Uh, no. I haven't. So, there's that. So sorry, I did that bad. It's forever burned in my mind. Mostly, it's mostly burned in my nose. <laughs> it's. It almost makes every other first date just look that much better. Just in comparison, really. Like, and I hope there's nothing that tops it. Because... My thing right now is like, oh, it can't be worse than that one. It can't be worse than this stinky one. But then if something tops it, then I can't use that anymore. <laughs> Set my bar higher. Okay, but how am I supposed to know that somebody smells like pee? Well, I haven't gone out with them yet. I can't know. That they smell like pee from... <laughs> it's terrible. I couldn't have known ahead of time. But yeah. I, there was no second date. The pee thing... Really... Set it off. <laughs> we're talking about... We're ta Did y'all do it? What do you mean? I left as soon as I could. He smelled like pee. It was, it was such a strong scent you don't even know. Like, it was immensely strong. That's all I could think about. I had a few crazy girls, like, talk about themselves and opinions. And I'm like, yeah, uh, cool date. Gotta go. Bye. I've definitely had a couple first dates where it's just like, cool. This is, I'm just entertaining this this guy like I'm just letting this guy talk about himself for a while and I've had a lot of people like let out like all their trauma on like the first date and then never talk to them again like I guess that was your like therapist for the first date cool so uh shit Exactly. Who wants to get nasty in a car that smells like it? Was, it was so bad. How does one go out without taking a shower? And let it... I don't even know if that was that. I think the smell was his... Like, it was not only him, but it was his entire car, too. Like, I think it was stuck in the car. So I don't even know. Oh. Your worst date was a girl that met up with you, told you she was married, and said that she wanted you to get her pregnant. That's... I'd say that's the craziest. But I feel like things... Things could be worse than that. Like... <laughs> Joke's on her. Clipped. <laughs> Never heard it referred to as that, but I like that. <laughs> Joke's on you. But I feel like that's something you like. Like, that's something really strong. Like, you have to come in with that agreement. You have to. Like, that's something you have to know before going on the date. That's not something you talk about, like, on the date. But what I'm wondering is that. Was she successful? Do you think she found someone? Because obviously, like, she was looking for someone to impregnate her. But, I mean, if I were you, I'd take it as a compliment. Like, she thought your genes were good enough. She wanted to make a mini you. It's 
probably did. We had some fun for a few months, though. How are you saying that was your worst date? You're saying that was your worst date? That's insane. I, you're telling me you got to have fun for a few months? And I had to deal with cat pee? For at least an hour. Life isn't fair sometimes. Life just isn't fair. But I think some weird things that I've dealt with is where it's like I've had classmates of guys that like obviously like me and like want to go out with me. But then it's also like we're classmates. So I have to be like cordial with them. And then they just like don't really get the hint. And they're like still like persisting. And then and they just keep persisting. And it's like, oh, I see you every day in class, but I don't like you like that. So sorry. Sorry. Okay. My worst date, honestly, drove two hours to meet up with a girl. Mistake number one said hello to her and she ditched me within five minutes Ugh. i don't care if it's the hottest girl in the world on my perfect match i couldn't fool around with someone in a relationship <laughs> jay you have a point i couldn't if i was in a relationship what if it was it was her <laughs> I mean, I've hung around people in, like, open relationships, though, to be honest, I, once I went out with, like, a guy in an open relationship, and then I think, like, a month or so later, he broke up with her. But guess what? I never talked to him again. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder how he's doing. I wonder how he's doing. Depends on how you feel. I mean, I guess. I mean, uh, depends how you feel. That's a pretty good way to like wrap it all up. Depends on how you feel. It's really, it's kind of how I go about everything. Depends on how I feel. Do you want to go there? Mm. Depends on how I feel. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> My worst day was I went to a girl's house to do the thing. She asked me to go down on her. She had never shaved and everything down there smelled like pee. Oh, so me and you have something in common with our worst dates, which is the smell. Which, I'll be honest, that is, that is an unfortunate situation. Very, very unfortunate, I'll say. But, P, we have that in common. So we know, me and you know, just how the smell burns into your nose. And it really affects the mood. It really does. Well, you didn't have to. If you didn't... If you didn't want to... There was the option to say... A guy should never smell like pee. A girl, though? 
Is that even possible? <laughs> I didn't know. That's true. And it is a little awkward. It is a little awkward if you're you're already there. And see, this is this is where we're in common, where you show up and you're you meet the smell. And once you meet the smell, it's a little, it's too awkward to turn back. And it's just unfortunate. She was a solid eight. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yeah, sucks. No back and oh now. <laughs> yeah. That's the feeling. No, not worth it. <laughs> Sounds like 7.99. Jen? Don't let no smell water. Water him. Mm -mm. Incredible. Incredible stuff, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, no. On the way back home, it felt like I was flossing. I need I need a moment after that one. <laughs> My gardening scale is like a seven is mid to me. But if you're six and under, think you're ugly, ugly, and ew, WTF. Gardening scale. <laughs> That's so funny. This, this, I can allow this. Automod, Automod caught this one. <laughs> Grading scale. I think gardening scale, I like the description of it. Pubes, was, uh, there's so many things that get blocked by Automod. I've had Cowgirl got blocked by Automod because for sexual conduct. Even though we were talking about like an actual like yeehaw cowgirl, but it gets blocked. Pubes also got blocked. Someone could write in here simply, I'm horny. And it does not get caught. See, look, it get like I'm gonna allow it. Yeehaw. See? I had to allow it. But had to test. But no all of a sudden somebody says, I'm already. Nope. Just let it right in. It's like Cool. Like, this is what I deal with here. I'm my own mod. I have a second screen where I have like chat and everything. And that's what I like to call my, my control center. I have it all right here off screen. But I could time someone out if I wanted. You can, but I've, there's some words that you don't think of, and then you hear them and you're like, oh god, okay. But I think Automod sometimes goes a little crazy. Glad you're your own mod. Did I mention the stream I was in before you? I, uh, maybe? I'm not sure. Remind me, remind me, just in case. Just in case. Is it the one where you got banned for saying, cool story, bro? Because if so, then I got it. But if not, then do tell. Do tell. Said awesome. sounds something like awesome play, man. Yeah. 
fucked up. Fucking no joke. Got banned for saying hi. Really? It reminds me of the clip where um I think it's Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh my god. She like goes into someone's stream and she's she wants to say like, girl, so many hours, you're killing it. And then she keeps writing it in different ways. And then it turns out it was like hours that didn't let her say it. Like she had to say like 15 intervals of 60 minutes. You go, girl. Like it wasn't even killing or slaying that was it. But hours. All right, everybody. We are at officially two hours and 30 minutes. And I might just say that is probably where I'm going to end it today. I might come back either tomorrow or later today with some gaming content. But don't worry. I'll be back.